Once the season starts, let's make a commitment. I think people will learn that this is a really good group of guys. They're young, but they're competitive, and they want to get better every time they step on the floor. Uh, just making sure every coach has what they need, Co player and coach have what they need um, before each game. This is for the pre-game warm-ups. Now we are doing weigh-ins and weigh-outs. Oh, let's show it to TMZ, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm sorry Eru is you know, annoying you guys with whatever details, facts she has to give, but I think she's a great help. First day on the new job, you know what I'm saying? Very excited. Got to be excited. Come on now. Come on now. Ready to get to work. You know, all the guys there. What's impressed me most is that this is a really good group of guys. Uh, high character. They love being around each other. And they just love having fun. Let's make a commitment that we're going to pick our energy up. Hold up, hold up. Next turnover. Any, any turnovers. Hold Jim, just drop down and give me five push-ups, man. We gotta take care of the ball. Once the season starts, I think people will learn that this team is, uh, they're young, but they're competitive, and they wanna get better every time they step on the floor. Everybody drop down. Shot clock violation is a turnover. From uh, what you've seen from B.I., I guess, what are you expecting this year as far as what he can do on the court and off the court as a leader? I think what I'm most impressed about B.I. is, is uh, number one, he's really observant. He doesn't always let you know what he sees or what he's thinking, but I can see, I can see him, his mind just churning. When he steps on the floor, the game changes. Uh, he's putting guys in different positions. The floor opens up. He can attack. A really high IQ basketball player. How's camp though? You feel good? Camp's good? Camp was good. We're ready for it to be up so we can start playing. You got the shot, Devontae. Oh, wow. Nah. We need another shirt for you. You ready? Here we go. We're a really exciting team. We'll be really gritty. You know, we're going to give our all every single night. Just making sure we follow the game plan and listen to what Coach Green says. It'll be a very exciting team to watch. Hey, nah, he was crying though. Like, did y'all see him? You can't, you hear me, bro? I'm proud of the way that we moved the ball. 0.5, we attacked the paint, we kicked it out. And guys are unselfish. That's what it's about. Everybody is involved. Everybody wants to touch the basketball. It's a free-flowing offense right now, and, and we just can have to continue to build on, on tonight's win. Yeah, knocked a two-hour uh, flight out the way. It's gonna be Chicago before we know. a good city. You know that. I know that. Great city. I used to drive here as a kid in St. Louis. I used to drive here. So I have a lot of memories. But that's the old Chicago Stadium. Uh, great days. That was across the street. Alright, here we go. Pen and paper guy, or are you a like in phone type of guy? Pen and paper, so I, 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 I try to write on paper a lot. 
just because I like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. But it slowed me down. Yeah, no, I, I feel I feel that. <laughs> I feel like I can freestyle. Yeah. Just, but I only feel like I can freestyle with the beat first. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The beat first, well, I swear I can freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that's my best stuff. Cause you're, cause, cause you're natural, right? Like when you overthink it, then it's yeah. mechanical and it's robotic. Yeah. I'm <laughs> um, uh. Kind of like down the court too, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like when you're free flowing and. Yeah. Any hesitation? Any hesitation? Like, hundred percent. Hit or miss. <laughs> These guys are, uh, they're hungry. They're hungry to make the next step. They're willing learners. And this is like a, a family, like a brotherhood. And, and these guys come in every day with the mindset that they just want to get better. That we could be dangerous. You know, we got all the right pieces, I feel like. Um, and even, not even this season, but the season after this, you know, it's going to continue to get better and better. And, um, you know, eventually we're going to be really dangerous. Hola. But that, that's my thought process, and let's make sure that we pay attention on the ride down there tomorrow to, to see the devastation that has happened. Um, and this is, you know, a month a month past, so they've cleaned up a lot of stuff, but it's still still really tough to see. But again, like I said, let's make sure we talk to each other, communicate, and have a great year. Good company, uh, good night. So it's Friday. About to enjoy it's Saturday. I'll be sure down in place. Nickel State. Turn up for the crowd. My boy got something planned for y'all. Yeah. Anything like that. Yeah. That's that's it. Cut. We can go now and get warmed up. Yeah. Do a longer warm up. Cool. And then right. I'm gonna address the crowd before we get going. Okay. We'd like to thank you all for being here to support us today. It means a lot. The people here in South Louisiana are tough hardworking, and resilient. We'll do some drills, we'll scrimmage just a bit, but more importantly, we hope that this experience just brings a bit of joy. Pelicans, the Gulf Coast Renewal Fund, we're donating $100,000 to Nickel State University Foundation for the hurricane effort. So, thank you. Thank you all again. We got some t-shirts we'll pass out. Thank these guys for coming out. Appreciate you. Yeah. you know, me being from here, understanding how, how these things devastate areas, 
you know, seeing still a month past, you know, a month more, you know, past the hurricane, um, still seeing the devastation that it has caused, uh, you know, it makes you, it makes you grateful, um, it humbles you, and, uh, you know, that's, again, that's part of the reason why we're, we're donating what we're donating uh, to Nickel State, so uh, hopefully uh, we're able to get past this, and uh, this season is dedicated to, you know, the victims uh, of Hurricane Apple.